So this is the Sherman Medical Evacuation Tank, or AMBU tank, as used by the Israeli Defence Force. The idea being basically that you take the turret off there and stick a great big box on the back, put the engine in the front, and you've got a very, very effective means of evacuating casualties from the battlefield whilst using up the vast amount of Shermans you've got. Um, there are room for four casualties in the back through this door here that you can about to see and a medical crew. Um, the problem of, of, of doing anything with Israeli vehicles is actually any kind of research. They are often quite difficult to find any details unless you wade through millions and millions of websites or spend absolute fortunes on books. Now, apparently this was uh, converted by Workshop 650, introduced in 1969. This is the earliest version with the VSS suspension. There was an HVSS version as well that actually looks quite quite different to this particular vehicle. Um, and I think this one's a petrol engine. This may or may not have actually had a hatch on the bottom in this compartment here, uh, where they basically <laughs> drive over you open the hatch up and then lift you into the body of the vehicle. Um, I know French Foreign Legion used to train their troops by having tanks drive towards them and they'd have to lie in front of them, push away, roll away at the last moment. But I really would have thought if you're actually not very well um, bleeding a little bit, the last thing you want to see is a tank driving towards you. And you go, ah! um, not a lot else to say about them because I don't know a great deal about more about them. This is based on the markings are fairly fictional. Some markings such as their colour is fictional it's based on the vehicle at latrun which is the israeli uh, i don't think it's really even a tank museum it's more a sort of collection of vehicles left in the desert and sort of all painted the same color um they don't make any attempt at preservation or running or it's certainly you know it's not bovington it's not Samur. they've just painted everything the same color i kind of like it though it's kind of color israeli vehicles should be so it's fictional um and really really not designed to it should have been a sort of more greenish color at that period or green or grayish color at that period i do believe again problem with researching israeli vehicles um it is really 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 isn't easy it's based on a hobby boss i think sherman that i had for a different project and just never actually got round to it took a fair old while because it don't take pictures off the internet and then do measurements and in the end it was well you know this looks this looks about right i'll i'll, I'll go with that i don't claim to be any kind of master scratch builder um, I genuinely like it. Had a few problems, which you may be able to see with these jerry can mounts. They're really not very good, but it's what I did at the time, and I don't particularly intend to change it. There is a driver figure. Fortunately, the Israeli army of this time, um, from its inception to sometime, I think, in the later 70s, basically used British army uniforms, because that's what they had. Um, an awful lot of the core of the original, very early Israeli army essentially were basically British uniforms, British vehicles. There's a wonderful story of a crew taking one of their tanks, which I think, I can't remember what vehicle it was. I basically drove off to the Israeli and said, here you go, we're here, and here's the tank. And they've actually still got that very original vehicle. I think it was a Comet. So this is the Ambu tank. Thoroughly, really, really enjoyable project. I painted it a very, very pink colour, first of all, for some reason. Um, it's slightly better, slightly more realistic colours if you want it based on a a completely unrestored museum vehicle there are a couple of videos of this actual vehicle if you search latrun on um, this very platform there's one there's views inside the back of it which i think are really really quite useful it's 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 been an awful lot of sitting and taking pictures from the internet sitting with my phone and taking pictures of videos from the internet and anyway, i'm really pleased with this i do like israeli subjects i like scratch building up I, I don't claim to be very good at it but i thoroughly enjoy it so that's my ambutank May even be the only 148th one in the world. And to go on my sort of my knife reviewing character a little bit, I've, I've I know a couple of people who actually do drive ambulances, our ambulance crew, and I mentioned this, and they've all gone. That would be absolutely brilliant when the traffic's really heavy and people aren't paying any attention to go drive over the lot of them. So if you do hear a siren somewhere around, please do take the time to stop and look and listen and think where the vehicle's coming from. The crews of these things, a lot of these things, the crews of brilliant ambulances do have quite a difficult job. You can make it an awful lot better by situational awareness. Anyway my M4 Ambutank.